Shalom. So today you're listening to the weekly Parsha part. Today's Parsha uh, Chukot. It's Numbers chapter 19 verse 1 to Numbers chapter, I think, 22 verse 1. Double check. Numbers, yes. 22 verse 1. First chapter of the Parsha is the Red Cow. I'll skip that part because I know nothing about that part. I can't understand anything. I can't explain anything. All I understand is that we shall burn the red cow, we shall take the ashes, we shall sprinkle it to the person who is impure. And then the part that the person who is purifying the other person shall be contaminated. I don't know that part of it. Let's go to chapter 20. Miriam died in the lack of water. The people protested. God commands Moses to bring water. Hashem spoke to Moshe, saying, Listen, take the staff and gather together the assembly, and you and uh, you and Aaron, your brother, and speak to the rock. Speak to the rock. It says, listen, 20, chapter 20, verse 7 to 8. Listen, speak to the rock. And take the staff. He said, take the staff. Later on, he says, speak to the rock. Why would you want to take let him take the staff and later on this? Say, speak to the rock. That's your homework. Now, in every Parsha, there's, of course, a question. This Parsha, there's every commentator has a question. Everyone. Question is, why did Moses sin? What was Moses sin? I'll read to you one by one. Let's draw five of them. Let's read by one. Rashi. Rashi's view given above. As they sinned striking. As he sinned striking the rock. Rather than speaking to it. As Hashem commanded him. Rambam. States. That he sinned. Moses sinned. Because he said. Listen our rebels. In verse 10. said listen our rebels. Shall we bring forth water from you, uh, for you from this rock? Became angry. That's what he said. Rabbi Hananel said. The third one. That's the third. Oh, sorry. The third. Said. Moses said because he said. Shall we bring forth water? He said. Listen now in verse 10. Listen now rebels. Shall we bring forth water for you from the rock? Which implied that he and Aaron had the power to produce water. Moses should have said. Shall Hashem bring forth water? Okay, Abarbanel agrees with Rashi that the immediate cause of the punishment was Moses struck the rock, but he holds that there is an underlying cause. Moses and Aaron had erred before, but God did not call them out to account until after the sin. Aaron had had in making a woolen calf. Moses had dispatched the spy, dispatched the spies. Okay, the Rim, if I remember correctly, Rabbi Yitzchak Mir Altar. That's him, if I remember correctly. Finds the key to to the shortcoming of Moses and Aaron, the word in him, before their eyes in verse 8, implying that Moses had speak to the rock in such a way that the people would see something, rather than merely rather than merely knowing it. Similarly, that trans, transcendental revelation at Sinai, the sages say that the nation saw what is normally only heard. See Exodus chapter 20 verse 15. Now, I have another question. Verse... Yud bet, verse 12, says here, V'yomer Hashem el Moshe, ve'el Aaron, ya'an lo he'emantem, listen, he'emantem, bilhek deshnei, le'enam, le'enei, b'nei Israel, laken lo taviyui, taviyui, yes, taviyu, et hakahel, haze, el ha'aretz asher natay, natatay lahem. Hashem spoke to Moses and Aaron, Because you not, did not believe in me to sanctify me in the eyes of children of Israel, therefore you will not bring this congregation to the land that I have given them. What does it say? I said, listen, he'emantem, ya'an lo he'emantem, because you did not believe in me. Rabbi Olo said, you can't learn the Torah in English. 
What does heemante mean? In English, it, be, it means because you, you. But in Hebrew, heemante means plural. It's plural. Who is this other other person for heemante? Aaron! What did Aaron do? He didn't do anything. What did Aaron do? He didn't do anything. He didn't strike the rock. He didn't do anything to the rock. So there's a verse in uh, Leviticus. We're going back. Leviticus chapter 19. Verse 17. Says, uh, you shall reprove him, meaning rebuke your fellow and do not bear him because of him. Meaning, if you don't rebuke your fellow, give me an example. You see your neighbor, Jewish, driving uh, the car on Shabbat. You don't uh, rebuke him, it's just like you driving the car on Shabbat. So, the first strike Moses did like this, Pang! Aaron was innocent. The second strike, Pang! He said, Moses hit the rock twice, right? Aaron was guilty. Why? The first strike, Aaron didn't know that it was coming. The second strike, Moses was about to do this, Aaron should have said, hey, hey, stop. Hashem said, talk to the rock. Not hit the rock. Okay. Aaron should have said that. That's why it says Heemante. You too. Hashem says, because you, Moshe and Aaron, did not uh, believe in me to sanctify me in the eyes of the children of Israel, therefore you will not bring this congregation to the land I have given them. Who rules next? Joshua. Joshua. Yan lo emantem. That's what it says. Yan lo emantem. Heemante means plural. Both of you. The next chapter, chapter 20, 20? 20, 21, sorry, 21. Amalek attacks. There's two wars in this Parsha Amalek and Sihon. The battle. The Amorites, they captured Sihon and then they stayed in the Amorite cities. That's what happened. All in all, there is a uh, Pei Zamed Pesukim, 87, 87 verses in, in this Parsha, Pei Zain, 87. Next Parsha is Balak, the wicked Balak. I'll explain it in the next Parsha. So thank you so much for watching, I'll see you next time.